CBD oil and skin flushing. Is that a solution? Let's talk about it today. Hang on. Hey everyone, welcome to Lean In Warrior. This channel is a place where we talk about things that just quite frankly embarrass the shit out of us whether that is skin flushing or sweating or or red extreme redness acne and things of that nature but for the most part the reason why I started this channel was because I yours truly experienced this skin flushing on my chest and on my neck and I felt like it was really just breaking me down to the point of wanting to curl up in a ball somewhere and then one day I just had this this thought that maybe maybe I'd rather expose this and talk about it because there may be other people out there who have something similar going on. And so here we are. And today what I want to talk to you about is CBD oil and skin flushing. First and foremost, I want to ask you, have you tried this? Do you use CBD oil? I know some people swear by it. I've heard so many great things about it. Um, especially for topical use and for those of you who know my dad is undergoing stage 4 colon cancer right now and I've had people suggest that CBD oil might be a good option for him in regards to his chemo treatments. so I wanted to check in with you and see have you tried this have you heard of this are you taking this and hear your thoughts on that because here's what I found out about CBD oil is that um, it has a great positive impact on a lot of different things that we experience um, with our skin, uh, with our anxiety. I know that a lot of times when we talk about skin flushing, we will talk about, we think it's the root of it is anxiety. And I know we're all different. Some people it's a histamine intolerance and there's so many different elements that go into why would my skin flush. But specifically for what I'm talking about with my own skin flushing, which is not a raised bump, or a rash, it is really just a splotchiness all over the chest and the neck that tends to happen whenever I get really hot, um, I'm drinking alcohol, if I go from cold to hot really fast, if the sun is shining on me for a long period of time, if I do get embarrassed, it will happen. If I get extremely passionate, it will happen. But it all has to do with the dilation of the blood vessels inside of my body. So anytime that in my, my blood, vessels, blood vessels have that rush of oxygen and blood, they're going to expand, it's gonna come up closely to my skin, and then you're gonna see that flushing take place. The crazy thing is, and, and in all of my videos, I pretty much show this calendar to say, I've been tracking my cycle. And as I track my cycle, I see that it's not consistent. The flushing's not consistent. So I may be in the sun right now, and you wouldn't see any flushing. But a week from today, I may go walk outside for five minutes, I don't even feel hot and I'll look down and be flushed completely. So there's a lot of inconsistencies in what happens to me personally, but I'm going to read a little bit of this, this article that I found here. I have a friend who sells CBD oil, <coughs> the, just the oil and then the one with the THC and she swears by it, but it says that CBD oil has a positive impact on a variety of health concerns and conditions, including chronic pain, joint inflammation, anxiety, insomnia, headaches, memory, nausea, neurological disorders, skin disorders, and more. It also says that CBD oil has an anti-inflammatory inflammatory property, which can benefit the skin, and it can also reduce oil production. <laughs> Phone's ringing. Hold on. Hello. All right. Bye. Bye. I love you. Shoot. This would not be my channel. This would not be an appropriate video if there was not some sort of crazy interruption. I'm gonna put the phone on silent. It says CBD oil has an anti-inflammatory property which can benefit the skin and it can also reduce oil production, provide moisture, and relieve pain and itching. Topical CBD is safe and works effectively for all skin types. The products are easy to administer, sufferers of serious medical skin conditions, and those who are seeking innovative skincare options can benefit from topical CBD use. Anti-inflammatory properties associated with CBD are beneficial in treating such dermatologic, dermatol, dermatologic, dermatologic, I don't know, conditions such as acne, psoriasis, and eczema due to the reduction of dryness, irritation, and redness. CBD containing creams 
oils, gels, and serums not only moisturize and soothe the skin, but are also showing encouraging results in relieving pain caused by certain skin disorders. Now that, that may, may be incredibly beneficial to you depending on what kind of skin challenges you have going on. For me personally, I don't have raised bumps that I need to get to. Mine is happening under the skin. It's actually ha happening with the dilation of the blood vessels but it's triggered by uh, a lot of different factors. And sometimes that can be anxiety that does trigger that flushed reaction. And so if CBD oil is good for anxiety, helping anxiety and managing anxiety, then that could be a positive benefit for, for those of us who are dealing with the flushing due to anxiety reasons. So I personally have not used this yet. I have inquired about it quite a few times just because I'm very curious, especially when it comes to sleep um, and managing anxiety. I wouldn't say that I, I walk around with just like a crap ton of anxiety all the time, but I do run like fast, like ADHD type. <laughs> just I'm, I'm go 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 my mind is is thinking a lot and especially at night i have a lot of creative energy in the evenings and so i've just always thought that that's just who i am and i tend to once i get some time to myself in the evening i just want to do everything all at once because if i go to sleep and i wake up the next morning then i have to start all over again Meh. curious to know your thoughts have you tried cbd oil is this something that you use in other areas of your life maybe it doesn't help you with skin flushing but it helps you in other areas i'm really curious to hear your thoughts and if i do happen to get a hold of a bottle of this cbd oil i will test it out i do have some just non-thc uh, hemp oil that i had used for a while just to moisturize my chest and my neck area i'm just curious to know what your thoughts are i do hear a lot of people give a lot of positive reactions to cbd oil but it's not many people that i know who have skin flushing so i'm not sure if that works or it doesn't work but i definitely think it's something that should be tested and so when i get my hands on some of it i'll let you know what i think if it works because i do know a distributor who sells it legitimately and so i'll test it out and i will do a video once i do that for a little bit and let you guys know how it goes but in the meantime if you like this video i really want to invite you to give it a thumbs up i would i would love to invite you to subscribe to the channel if this is something that interests you and something that you've been looking for your own solutions or ways to overcome i did find someone who actually got a surgery done and i'm sure you guys have heard about that i'm going to talk about that more in another video this week about surgery that can be done i'm not there I don't want to say I'm not there. Like I have somewhere I need to get in this moment, according to this April, I don't want to have a surgery done. I don't want to snip anything in my body, uh, especially nerves, but we'll have another discussion about that on another day. If you'd like to hang around for that type of video, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss it and hit that bell notification. So you'll know when I do post a video about it, because I'd love to hear your feedback, what your thoughts are in regards to surgery to stop flushing. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. And until next time, which will probably be tomorrow, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.